Greetings, everybody. This is uh, Green bringing you another commentary on Call of Duty Black Ops, and this is a game I played about a couple weeks ago. It's a team death match, team death match on Cracked, and uh, I'm using a silenced Enfield, I believe it's called. Probably pronounced that incorrectly a lot. Please be sure to leave a comment telling me how to pronounce things correctly, and uh, I'll be sure to do that in the future. But my perks are lightweight. Sleight of hand and marathon. I'm using the flash grenade, a uh, frag grenade, and then as you saw, the claymore. And uh, I personally like the iron sights in this game too. I, uh, I say too. I watch a lot of C nanners, and this is actually my first game to ever try and commentate. So uh, I look to C nanners for a lot of uh, tips uh, per se. He doesn't exactly tip on commentating, I suppose there's a couple videos he does, but, uh, you know, it's usually just watching the commentary and finding where his conversations go, and keeping the commentary going, you know, and just in general also having, you know, pretty interesting gameplay, and I know right now it's, my gameplay is too particularly interesting, oh no, he's camping on the third floor of that one particular building, and didn't even kill that guy, wow, how pathetic, so... <laughs> Um, but I'm going to try this commentary thing out. I've always wanted to try it out, and I've only recently finally got uh, fraps, uh, so I can finally record my gameplay, and you know, I've always had a microphone over the years playing different games like this, so uh, you know, I've always had the components really, just not fraps and not really the, the actual go get them attitude, so... I'm gonna give it a try, and uh, I've got some supporting roommates who I suppose enjoy watching me play, and uh, so I figure I'll post them on YouTube and see what the Our YouTube community, f how the com YouTube community feels on my gameplay, and uh, so. Right there, I threw that uh, that random grenade just because our our UAV got in the air, and uh, I noticed we had some red dots over in that general area, so. Why not throw a grenade over there, you know? So, but right now, I mean, usually my gameplay like this is just getting a spy plane into the air and then facing toward the red dots and trying to uh, be sure that I see them before they see me. And you know, usually that can happen. But since I'm not using uh, the ghost perk, I've got to be pretty wary about enemy spy planes myself because then I show up as a red dot. But you know, luckily using a silenced weapon, I don't show up as a red dot when I fire. I think that was my first, yeah, my first uh, kill of the whole game. Yeah, congratulations. We're pretty couple several minutes into it and first kill of the game. Uh, so I I plan to do more uh, Black Ops commentaries, and this is just one of six. My whole file share is full right now, and I don't know if you can get an extended file share, but I don't think I need one. I can just, you know, pull it out of my... If there's a particular game I enjoyed and want to cast, I can just pull it out and put it in my file share, and uh, then whenever I feel like casting it, go in and cast it, and then just delete it from my file share. But that way I can, you know, be sure to know which ones it was that I did well, so I don't accidentally... Uh, if you notice closely there, there was his claymore was still right there, and I don't know which I wasn't sure which way it was facing, but I, I think I might have actually just about looked at my death in the face, but uh, it disappeared there at the last second. So lucky me. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll get these Black Ops commentaries going and see that guy there got the headshot. Uh, finally, get my own kill streak. And, got my own spy plane. Wow, a whole three Bring kills this whole game. Out. I'm amazing, aren't I? But, <laughs> so, uh, but I also plan on doing Let's Plays of different games, uh, Minecraft in particular. I, again, look at C Nanners, and he's the one that really got me interested in, in Minecraft, but it, it took having a co-worker, you know, someone in person telling me to go check out this game that I finally watched C Nanners videos and then bought the game the next day. <laughs> so it, it's also a very fun game. I would recommend it for anybody. But I'm I'm probably gonna do a let's play of that. Um, probably on hard mode because I think uh, people aren't too interested in watching a let's play peaceful. Uh, just because it's uh, 
you know, anybody can get on peaceful and build something really cool. You don't have to worry about monsters or creepers. I mean, it's mainly the creepers that just will suddenly appear behind you. So, uh, but back to this particular game. I like this one spot in Crack just because you can pretty much see the entire map from this whole spot. And as you can see, I can see down this whole left side of the map, I'm going to call it. And then if I back out of this little nook and look to my left right now like I'm about to uh, I can see down the whole right side of the map and then from here I can see all the way to the back of the map and then getting up to here there are several spots to get up to this point so it's actually pretty hard to stay up here and stay alive because once people know you're up here they can start focusing their fire onto this particular area but I also like it too because it's an open area that I can defend so I can you know call down my care package at any time while I'm up here and um it, pretty much being good at this game involves a lot of map knowledge right now. I mean, th particularly coming. this game that can really shows cool. that off. I've, if you watch how I look, I look to key points on the map. I don't just scan the map and I don't just, you know, let my eyes try to find the movement. I'm always looking in particular spots. These are all the spots that enemies could be coming from. And they're all, you know, the walk walkways and popular walkways of players, so, uh, you know, theoretically an enemy would be coming along one of these walkways toward me to kill me and I'd be able to see them as they walk, so, there you go. Just like right there, I saw the red mat, red dot on the under, uh, underneath of the building on the mini-map, so I knew he was on the lower level, and the only way to get up to where I am from the lower level is where I was looking, and that's a staircase. I mean, there are other areas to get up, but he would have to leave the lower level to get there and I would be able to see that on the minimap since my spy plane was still going. Uh, one thing though about this spot is you have to have pretty good accuracy. Like right there I had actually pretty bad accuracy and that, if that guy had known where I was firing from he probably could have shot me but luckily he didn't and a teammate of mine got him before he killed either of us. But uh, I find a lot of people actually don't like this this game Black Ops as much as Modern Warfare 2 but I, I enjoy this game probably a little more than Modern Warfare 2 now um, I don't particularly enjoy that I, I can really only play hardcore nowadays because softcore is just kind of too ridiculous uh, there, there's a particular sound that a headshot makes and in softcore I can get like four headshots on one particular person and they won't die and they then proceed to kill me. <laughs> that gets a little annoying at times if you <laughs> catch my drift, so I tend to just play hardcore, which a lot of people don't enjoy hardcore just because it's so, it, it then in turn becomes so easy to kill somebody that most of the assault rifles, one, one hit from an assault rifle is very likely to kill your opponent, or anybody at that matter. But, uh, so, the, pretty much is that reason, and uh, softcore I, I don't particularly enjoy playing because I'll, I'll get into it and uh, I'll find 9 out of 10 times I end up getting killed by some person running around with an SMG not even zooming in, and it's, it just becomes, it gets a little frustrating at times to you know, be aiming as I'm going and checking my corners as I'm going and then having someone popping around the corner and not even aiming and somehow killing me while I am aiming. <laughs> but, so I just choose to play hardcore. I find it more, it, it challenges the skills and the, the tactics a little more than softcore does. Uh, I think really that only applies to the, the computer. Uh, it, on the consoles, the softcore is probably a little more balanced because aiming with a, <laughs> a controller is a, a bit different than a mouse. Uh, but that's just my personal view on the game. And uh, I, that's not to say that I don't play softcore. I, I definitely play softcore every now and then. Uh, but I, I typically play hardcore. And uh, I've recently started enjoying playing uh, Search and Destroy. It's bringing back a lot of memories the old Counter-Strike 1.6, so I'm enjoying that too, probably cast some Search and Destroy games, go ahead and 
anybody watching, go ahead and leave a comment on what type of gameplays you like watching and, you know, what type of guns or whatever you want to see me try and use. Uh, right now in this particular video, I'm using the Enfield, but I, I generally drift between using the uh, Silenced Galil to the Silenced uh, WA-2000 to the Snub-Nosed Python. And, of course, that's always fun because the Snub-Nosed Python will... Pistols get kills a lot easier in Hardcore, but the Snub-Nosed Python can kill... Uh, I say Snub-Nosed just because that's the uh, attachment I choose, just because it claims the accuracy is better, but... I don't know about that. It doesn't really matter. But the Python in general will get a kill from across the map in Hardcore with one shot, as long as you know how to aim. So, <laughs> I enjoy running around with Lightweight and Marathon on that one and getting kills everywhere and see right there I wasn't really checking that window which is what I should have been doing because I clearly heard the there was somebody down there running around and someone just set off my teammates Claymore down there too so really there's where I could have improved on that one and not gotten the one death and you know right now I'm at a there we go that's the end of the game that's 20 and 1 so right now I want all of you to notice that I'm actually a rank 2 prestige in this game um, but you'll find out more about that later. Uh, that's uh, 21, Team Deathmatch on Cracked, and uh, I will see you guys later.